Hi, my name is Rick Bellavo and I'm from Highland Home Inspections and I just wanted to pass along a message to all my realtor friends um, about polybutylene. I get a lot of calls from realtors about polybutylene. Um, is it polybutylene or not? When they walk into a house, they're looking at the water line and they're just not sure. If you go to the main water line where it's coming through the foundation wall and it is a turquoise blue plastic that is polybutylene. If it's black, that's polyethylene and that's a good material. If it's copper, that's a good material. If it's um, older than dirt, then it might be steel, but that's probably not the case. In our area, you probably have those three choices. Copper is most common, polyethylene is all you'll see now in new construction, but the bright blue stuff, the turquoise, is polybutylene. That is the yard line coming into the house. Now, once you get in the house, just look in the overhead of the basement. Maybe go to the water heater and see where the pipes are coming and going out of that. You'll either see copper or you'll see beige piping. The beige piping is CPVC, chlorinated polyvinyl chloride, and that's good stuff too. That's not a problem. The other thing you will probably see if it's a gray pipe or a grayish bluish pipe, that is probably polybutylene. In fact, if you look at the writing on the pipe, you will see PB. That doesn't stand for peanut butter, that stands for polybutylene. And if that's what if it says polybutylene, that's what it is. The um there are some builders who are using a new material which took the place of polybutylene and it's called PEX and I think that stands for extruded polyethylene. And it's a clear, almost translucent, kind of a white plastic. And you'll see that um, used very similarly the way polybutylene used to be used. They, they don't use that for the yard line. That's only for the plumbing in the house. Um, you rarely see that. You might see more and more of that as time goes on here. Um, but that's just starting to, to come out. The, um, the lawsuits associated with polybutylene are all gone, so it's on the, the back of the homeowner to repair that, to replace it. And I usually tell people in a townhouse you're looking at at least 3500 to 4500 to replumb a house with polybutylene throughout. If it's just the yard line, it can be 1500 to 2500 depending on how complex it is. If you've got a large 5,000 square foot house with polybutylene throughout, then it can push 10 to $12,000 to have it replumbed. So those are, that's the um, polybutylene in a nutshell. If you have any questions, give us a call and we can talk you through that over the phone. But thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye.